A new volcanic eruption in Iceland. Homes are evacuated and a state of emergency is declared. But well, before we go, I do just want to bring you these incredible live pictures we've got coming in from Iceland. A volcano there has erupted for the fourth time since December, spewing lava into the air and sending fountains of molten rock soaring from fissures in the ground. Well, police declared a state of emergency for the area. It's just south of the capital, Reykjavik, a nearby fishing town of Grindavik, where some residents had returned after earlier eruptions, is now being evacuated once again. A state of emergency has been declared in southern Iceland following another volcanic eruption. This latest flare-up is the fourth since December and potentially the most powerful so far. So residents in the town of Grindavik have been asked to leave the area, not for the first time. And the nearby Blue Lagoon, one of the country's most popular tourist attractions, has also been evacuated, as Sean Dilly reports. It's a breathtaking sight. This is what two miles of lava looks like spewing from the ground, eruptions transforming the night sky at the Reykjanes Peninsula. A state of emergency has been declared in southern Iceland after the peninsula's fourth eruption in recent months. We're evacuating. All right. The lava's coming. In the nearby fishing town of Grindavik, residents and tourists were only allowed to return home last month but now they've been forced to leave again. I've never experienced anything like that before. I'll be honest, I wasn't scared or anything. I hope everybody got out okay, but it really was an experience. And, I, and I'm like, at the same time, wow, how could this happen? I couldn't wait to come here. One of the country's most popular tourist attractions, the nearby Blue Lagoon, has been evacuated too. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said the eruption started shortly after 8pm last night, less than 30 miles from the capital city of Reykjavik. So this was definitely expected. There had already been uh, several um, statements issued from the Icelandic, Icelandic Met Office about an imminent eruption in the area, but of course the exact time of it uh, starting is uh, not uh, it's not possible to predict but the first cues of this moving towards the surface actually happens only about 15 minutes in advance of the eruption breaking to the surface but it was definitely expected it's the seventh eruption since 2021 and it's believed the area is entering a new volcanic era that could last decades if not centuries Sean Dilley, BBC News. So this is the uh, shot live from Iceland this morning. As you can see, the sun just about coming up uh, there in the North Atlantic. You can see the, uh, where the, where the uh, eruption is taking place. The lava flows uh, uh, heading down towards the town of Grindavik. About 100 of the 4,000 residents who were evacuated from there before had chosen to go, to go back. Uh, there have been some... Defensive walls built around Grindavik and also around a power plant nearby. Um, those should, the scientists think, redirect the lava flow if it gets that far. There's some talk as well that some of the lava might flow into the sea, but dramatic pictures from Iceland this morning of that latest uh, volcanic eruption. Now then, we've been showing the uh, pictures all morning, haven't we? A state of emergency has been declared in southern Iceland. This is following another volcanic eruption. This is the fourth since December. Yeah, have a look at the pictures. These were filmed overnight. Absolutely <laughs> spectacular. The aerial footage showing clouds of smoke and glowing magma oozing and bubbling from vents in the earth. It's the seventh eruption since 2021. And scientists believe that the area is entering a new volcanic era which could last for decades. It's a, it's a fissure explosion, isn't it, uh, eruption? Um, as you, oh, that's the live shot now this morning. I mean, they are amazing pictures, but what we have to remember, of course, is that um, there are people living in a town yeah, very nearby um, mm. that have been having to evacuate and then move back in and then leave again, and you're seeing that approaching probably quite slowly i think but still approaching nonetheless They've um, built some um protections haven't they round grindavik uh, about 4000 people were evacuated only about 100 
actually went back. Um, they've built some uh, protections and they think if, if the lava gets that far, it'll probably be held at bay. Similarly, around a power station, which is nearby, and some of it's expected perhaps to flow into the sea. Yeah, so updates uh, throughout the day on the BBC News channel and also the BBC website uh, to keep up with the latest.